here at YCS San Diego. Whoa, please introduce yourself to the world. Hi, my name is uh, Yuma Camacho. Oh, what did you do today, man? Um, I top eight at YCS Indy with Exosisters. Exosisters, my goodness. Who made you decide to use this deck, man? Um, so, right before deck list, deck list submissions, I was bouncing between two. Um, I actually just flipped a coin and ended up landing on Exosisters, and we ran with it. It's one of my, fa my favorite decks I've been playing for a long time, and I feel like I had pretty decent meta chance uh, with what was going around, so I, no, I guess it turned out we did all right. Okay. So, before we start the deck call, any shout-outs? Uh, yeah, uh, shout out to my friends that came with me, uh, Jared Cortland and uh, Frontline Games, which is my locals, uh, and my daughter, Raina. Nice. Well, without further ado, please show us the top eight guru. All right, sure. Honestly, nothing too crazy outside of what you can expect from Sisters. So, you know, you got your three main starter, Martha, in hand, specials this and this. So, helps get your, uh, your play started. Uh, for ratio, other ratios, do we did two Stella. Um, and then two Sophia, one Irene. Um, I still liked Irene and Sophia um, because typically, ideally, you want an extra. It just gives you a little extra bit of engine uh, before you run out of gas because you can run out of uh, resources really quick with this deck. The idea is to stun your opponent, limit their plays, and then f uh, kill them on the next turn. Um, but yeah, this this worked out really well too. I uh, cut down from the three because we're also playing the little spirit package of Aratama and Sakitama. Um, this card on your own can get you your full end board, um, but you also but you don't want to see too many of this guy. And I think two and two worked out perfectly, uh, ratio wise. Um, so that was so that's the monsters. Um, some defensive stuff. Um, we play this guy. Um, probably the reason that you play the deck. Uh, it just, when it comes up, it's just great. Uh, it can shut down a lot of decks and turn skip. Um, and then we paired it with two Ash Blossom, which were okay, which is why I kept it at two. I didn't want to see too many of it, and uh, it was easy side out for uh, other things that were stronger. Um, moving on to spells. Uh, so three packs, your best searcher, and a standard in the deck. We also played uh, a single copy of Carpet Divum. Um, so it was like my 41st card. Uh, one thing I really love about this card is just like, it's really strong in this format um, because you ideally want to get into this first uh, to help play around Nibiru before you can commit to your Magnifica. Um, but it can also just like, and then from there it just, it can blank any name. So you, you call any kind of engine piece that, that's gonna like stop their plays and they can't really do anything about it. Um, and you know, it can, popping back row is kind of nice. Uh, three Prosperity, very strong card, of course, you know what it is, it is what it is, but it actually probably cost me my top eight. Um, I just saw it's, it's a good card, but not when you see two to three in your opening hand, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, but probably one of my favorite choices, and I think I was really happy with, uh, was playing Triple Forbidden Lance. Um, if you know what this does, targets a monster as a quick effect, loses 800 attack, but it's unaffected by spells and traps. Um, it helped play around droplets, helped play around Dark Ruler and Imperms on my uh, on my starting place. Dang, they were nice enough to uh, discard a spell for droplets? Nah, they, they, they would they always discard a monster. They would always discard a monster, and the look on their face when they when, when I flipped this over was just great. You know, and it, it you know, played a lot of purely today, and it was great uh, lancing their cat before they rank it up. That'll teach you. Yeah. Um, and then also kind of for the cat matchup and just like general things, just Book of Moons. Uh, still pretty strong, I think, in my opinion right now. Uh, so for Exo Traps, we play two Returnia, one Vadis. Um, don't really need this too much. You don't want to see this in your opening hand. You either want to search it for follow-up or don't, you know, draw two. Uh, that, I, was, I was fine with this. I wouldn't change this ratio. And then some tech stuff. Uh, we'll play a Gozen Mesh, which kind of comes up sometimes. Can be a board wipe against some decks. Um, and then we have Double Evenly, uh, Triple Imperm. You know, speaks for itself. What's the main deck now? Uh, it's 41. 41? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. Worked out pretty good. Um, just for like siding ratios, uh, side patterns, it worked out pretty nice. Okay. Uh, moving on to the extra deck, we have uh, your primary, uh, Michaelis. Your Spell Trap Searcher, Quick Effect Banish. Uh, we have Cast Patel, we played at two. Uh, just your main engine starters to get you to your end board, which help you make uh, your Magnifica. Um, just, you know, everything you want in a boss monster, just really flexible, really kind of hard to deal with, 
uh, with the fact that she can dodge and tag out to targeting effects, and her advantage is non-targeting, so it makes them play suboptimally. Um, the, the utility uh, sisters, we have two Jabreen, one Asophil. I usually banish the second one off Prosperity, but in some matchups like Flu, you want to make this on their turn so you can imperm their birds before they can make their big dudes, which is easily part of my, one of my worst matchups. Um, and then just more uti the utility stuff. You're playing Zeus. Uh, Exiton Knight was okay. Bogusko is really nice, of course. And then we tried out the new guys, uh, Star Slayer and SP. I never, I never got to play SP. I wanted to. In theory, it's great, um, but it just never actually came up in a game. This came up twice, and I ended up winning one game where I played this, where I made this, because I was, I was able to go into this, stall them for a turn attack, and then put a Zeus on top. So then I was able to go to a wipe. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's pretty good, and I had extra space, so I think I'd keep playing it going forward. And that is the uh, extra deck. Um, for side, um, so going second uh, with the deck can be tough. So we play uh, Triple Thrust, um, and Thrust targets would be Dark Ruler, uh, Duster, Herald, Dark Hole, and other evenly. So um, we'd probably put more of these in. Honestly, I, I was kind of breaking on too many of these, so I might switch this to two into one talents, uh, just to give an extra option. Um, that worked pretty well, and then some other flexible stuff, uh, just Judgment, this, an extra Ash for like, when I know I'm against like traps like Labyrinth where I want to play, where I, I want to see Ash. Do so you want to explain these ratios? Okay. It's a little weird. Um, oh, no, it's yeah, Andy Spell like, it, You're I, my bitch. this really didn't, this really didn't do um, what I wanted to, I, I really, I only saw like one game. Um, goes in, it's good against some matchups, but not every, and I just wanted to kind of like, put, have, it, have the flexibility of opening one in my main deck. Like seeing it off of Prosperity is like a final piece. Um, and then just put it in when I know it's good. And then Ash, again, yeah, just, just for like uh, decks where I know I can like open double Ash on, like, on a deck like Labyrinth or Flu or something like that. That would work out pretty well. Um, might just change this. This isn't that great, but it was, it was just something to try. It just happened to work out. Sweet. Well, uh, thank you so much for the explanation, and uh, congrats on Top 8 and your Switch. <laughs> and any final thoughts on this event? Um, no, it was a great event. It was my first YCS ever, so I, I gotta say it was, uh, you know, pretty successful. All I wanted to do was day, make day two, and then just like things get happening and happening. I was like, okay, we'll just see where this goes, and uh, yeah, then we just landed here, so can't complain. Nice surprise, though. I know, uh, go to